This is the Uptick Newswire Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, and YouTube to stay up to date on penny stock news and interviews, public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world, with your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, we have a returning guest, and they were back on the show back at the end of July. We're talking no other than Strike Force Technologies. Well, they trade on the OTC markets, ticker symbol SFOR. And uh, with us today is the CEO, Mark K. Mark, welcome back to the show. Thank you very much, Everett. You know, since the last time that you were on the show back in July, we signed a big deal with the NASDAQ, you know, giving more listeners to yourself and to your company. So if you would, maybe give us a little bit about statement of what you guys are and, and, and what you're all about. Sure. And for those company, for those people that don't know, uh, Strikeforce Technologies uh, produces various different products that prevent identity theft and they're in cybersecurity. Uh, so we produce uh, Protect ID, Guard ID, and Mobile Trust. Protect ID is a out-of-band authentication product, meaning that if you're on the, on the computer and you sign into a site, it sort of protects you in many different ways now. And lately, we've added push technology, and that works very well, and many others. Um, and we do out-of-band, and we have our patents in out-of-band authentication as well, where Guarded ID is, is your secure area would be the keystroke encryption um, on your computer. You put it on your computer and it runs so it can be a retail or commercial product. And then Mobile Trust actually is our product that does a lot of keystroke encryption as well and it works in all your Apples and Androids. A very good product, selling rapidly and now selling largely to the retail space as well. Mark, I asked you to come on the show for a couple of reasons. First of all, please give my listeners and your shareholders any views on the business going forward uh, for the end of this year and maybe for next year also. Sure. And, and again, one of the areas we wanted to talk about in terms of the company is definitely all the revenue deals we have in front of us. We, do, we are working with some major companies uh, with some major channel partners. Uh, one of them did sign a contract that buys out for $9 million our Guard ID and Mobile Trust products, as well as our Guard ID patents. Um, they've doing some major deals. I cannot discuss the deals, but then to let you know, every one of them are still being worked out. Um, there are a couple contracts with some of them. And again, these are large deals for large money. They did expect them to be done this year. Obviously, they're running late. Um, we do know one of them is definitely getting done the end of January, early February, and they'll definitely you know, give us enough money next year to, to get through no matter what and be very strong in terms of the marketplace. So we feel very good about that. Besides, we're starting to get our own deals as well, um, and we should see some large revenues early next year. You know, the last couple of months, there's been a lot of talk about your patents and your lawsuits. I know that you guys appealed about the patents. Is there anything new on this uh, situation that you can bring us up to date? Yeah, well, it's not quite new, but uh, it, it's recent. And obviously, with bits and pieces, we've been saying we haven't said it all necessarily in one place. Uh, let's put it this way. All of our lawsuits are still in front of us. There's still opportunities for us to win. Um, but uh, it, it's looking like that we will probably be appealing um, the one that, the 101 that obviously you know, gave us negatives towards all of our, towards three of our lawsuits or complaints that would be taken by most of the companies. We're not sure of the other pat, of the other lawsuits we have out there yet. Uh, we know Duo is definitely putting a stay in, and we're, we feel good about that. We don't know what the others are doing right now. We're in discussions with them. Um, stays mean that nothing will happen with that company, so no Markman. Uh, no anything until the, the appeal is done. The appeals typically take 12 to 13 to 15 months. There's nothing that can be done about that. Um, and we feel very good about the opportunities of appealing, and and hopefully uh, we'll do well through that. So may not be any news on, on patents other than the other companies in terms of agreeing uh, with this, and then we'll probably talk to you once in a while about the stays, which 
of course, means nothing new will be happening other than some small things along the way. My guest today is Mark Kay. He is the CEO of Strikeforce Technologies, Inc. They trade on the OTC markets, ticker symbol SFOR. You know, uh, today you put out a press release. Uh, Can you explain that uh, a little bit to myself and my listeners, uh, what that actually means? Yeah, actually, the product we put out today, we put out... A, few, a, a new release of Guarded ID, but this was a major, major release. It, it's just, we went from a version three to a version four, but this now protects you on Garden ID, Garden ID, in all of the browsers you could be using. So whether it be IE or or um, any of the ones, Chrome, Firefox, and definitely on Windows 10 the new Edge product, all of them now have Garden ID in it, and they all have it in the upper right-hand corner where the, the picture of it is. And you can click on that and see the whole menu of Guard ID functions. So it is now available in every single browser, in every type of Windows and or Mac version, as well as it now does, you know, the, does the, few, the full click jacking, which protects you from viruses that you don't even know what you're clicking on. Uh, it, it does some great opportunities, some great things, and definitely a major, major enhancement to the product itself. And it definitely keeps it up and running you know, for a very long time, and, and almost no problems whatsoever will come under it. So we feel it's a major, major enhancement, and it's definitely going to take us a while to get it out to everybody. So are you still in beta testing right now, or is that product available? No. This is in production. It's it's in, it's available, but it still takes a while for everyone to pick it up in terms of its update. And uh, it's not quite there yet for updates, but uh, we're, we're finally just going through some small things that we're looking at and final testing pieces of it. But it's definitely in production. It will be out for everybody, and it is a major new enhancement, and you'll see all the documentation written up in it. So we feel really, really good about that. I want to change gears here just for a second. All I've been hearing about is uh, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. With the ICO and blockchain business growing as rapidly as it has in the last six to nine months, is Strikeforce doing anything in that market going forward? Yeah, and it's a great topic to bring up. And if you didn't, I probably would anyway. (laughs) We definitely... We have started a subsidiary of Strikeforce Technologies, Inc. It's called BlockSafe Technologies, Inc. It's a major blockchain company. We are using the same products. So Strikeforce is licensing Protect ID, Guard ID, and Mobile Trust to BlockSafe. Um, they will be making changes to it to work specific in that marketplace, which investors will get to see it and be able to give money us money towards it. Um, we will have tokens. Uh, this is a great new business we're developing with real reasons, with real products that actually secure the blockchain marketplace where most don't. Um, and we think this will be a major, major play for us. And, of course, we're very involved in this in this subsidiary as well as it grows. So you'll be seeing a lot of PR on it, a lot of publicity um, as Blockchain Safe Technologies, Inc. is starting up as a huge U.S. I repeat, a large U.S. blockchain company. Well, your stock price is trading at around seven tenths of a cent. You guys are, in my eyes and my opinion, you guys are grossly undervalued. We're talking about Strikeforce. That's the company that we're highlighting today here on Stock Day. Strikeforce Technologies Inc. Take a look at them. Uh, their ticker symbol is S F. O-R. You can go to their website, strikeforcetech.com. In closing, Mark, is there anything that we didn't get a chance to touch upon that you would like to get out there to the listeners? No, I just ask everyone to please be patient. Everything is still moving forward. The revenue deals are still out there. They're getting very close to closing. We're constantly testing them. Uh, the lawsuits are still out there. We're going to be working on They repeal extremely hard. Um, that won't show up for quite a while, so we got some time, and I think we'll see the company growing, especially in a subsidiary, the ICO, right, with the um, Block Safe Technologies. We're going to see some major, major plays in the first and second quarter of spring. So uh, I would ask you to all to stay, stay on, look forward to it, and see where we're going. 
Thank you for your time. Again, I wish you nothing but continued success. Hopefully, you'll come back on the show in about 45, 50 days and give us an update. Absolutely, Everett. It sounds real good. Thank you very much for having me. This program is entirely sponsored and produced by Uptick Newswire, LLC, which is responsible for the content. The opinions and information provided on this program are those of the guests and those of the respective companies they represent and do not necessarily reflect those of the staff or management of Uptick Newswire. Uptick Newswire encourages all listeners of this program to do their due diligence and research when determining investment strategies that will work for them or to seek the assistance of an investment professional. The guests of this program may have paid for its distribution and are not directly affiliated with Uptick Newswire or the station.